what's up what's happening what's popping what's going on everyone welcome back to another little impromptu simone with the spizzards i'm simone bringing guys daily sports talk you already know if you're new here if you're old here you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet make sure you start what you're doing leave a comment subscribe keep rocking with me check out the links down below buy me the coffee shout out the official simone with the spizzards merch collection and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream guys we just agreed to terms with chargers free agent linebacker Kaiser White. I'm super excited, super stoked for this move, y'all. I have a wedding this weekend, so I've been real busy with wedding things. So obviously I'm not in the studio, but I did want to give you guys my instant reaction. So here it is. We're going to obviously talk about this more in depth this week. And like I said, I am collabing with Lord Brunson on Monday. So make sure you guys drop your topics down below that you want me and Lord Brunson to talk about. But y'all, Kaiser White is somebody we need. He is a linebacker, one of the best linebackers for the Chargers last season. He had 144 tackles. He started in 17 games last season. He, I believe he had three tackles for loss, two passes defended, two interceptions. Um... So it's going to be Kazir and it's going to be TJ Edwards, a perfect, perfect compliment to each other. We got him for a one-year deal worth around $5 million, so great money-wise. I pretty much kind of knew we were going to make another move, but of course we've been... Um, like I said, we haven't made like a big, big, big move, but this is a huge impact move because like I said, the linebacker room needed a resurgence and this is somebody who can come in and instantly impact the wide receiver room, um, the, the linebacker room in the best way possible. Now, this does affect the draft because you guys know I was looking at a lot of linebackers in the first round in the draft. Now, I don't think this definitely will affect that. So, um, I guess I don't not sure if we're going to go. I mean, we always didn't know for a fact if we were going to get a uh, Devin Lloyd or Nicobe Dean. But now that we made this move, it's kind of like, oh, um, the chances are looking slimmer for, for that move. But we definitely should and will get a linebacker at least at some point in the draft. But now I don't know if we can get a linebacker with the first um, – in the first round but guys this is huge y'all like i said i'm in love with his game like i said he's a ball hawk he's a tackle machine he had 90 solo tackles like i said he was the best linebacker on for the chargers last season he's only 26 years old so he still has a lot of great football left in him and he's from pennsylvania he's from the pennsylvania area so he's a homer he's a homeboy so there's nothing not to like about this move i'm just so glad that we're still making moves and i'm so glad that we're putting an emphasis on defense 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 because we know we need to add some talent to the wide receiver room but we can't neglect the fact that our linebacker room was terrible we can't neglect the neglect the fact that we weren't getting enough pressure off the edge we still need to address safety so right now we've addressed linebacker we've addressed wide receiver and free agency we addressed um um, we got we helped the pass rush out with Hassan, but we have not addressed safety yet. So maybe that will come in the draft. We still need to get a safety. We still need to get a corner. So I'm guessing that's coming in the draft. But since we we check in the linebacker off the list, that's one less pressure. That's one less thing we have to worry about in the first round. So now what do y'all think we should do first round? Um, because you guys know I had linebacker in first round. Do you guys think we still will get a linebacker or do you guys think we should go um, safety, defensive back, wide receiver? What are y'all thoughts now? Um, there's also Jordan Davis, defensive tackle out of Georgia. Um, so what do y'all think we should do first round now? Let me know.